Welcome to Plabo.com, the podcast. Discover your sexual journey with Nink and Eimann. Last week, I had the pleasure of talking to a previous radio DJ about sexuality. In his younger years, he was one of the biggest radio DJs. He was invited to all red carpet events, and the women in his world were referred to as out-of-his-league women, if he wouldn't be a famous radio DJ. He tried to live 40 years in 20 years, for which he pays the price now in his life. Since about four years, he stopped having sex. It's just not that necessary for him anymore. His body has run dry, his head is tired, and he has seen and experienced the whole spectrum of sexuality in his DJ years. It doesn't really interest him anymore, and he consciously made the decision for that to be okay. Despite the amount of sexuality he used to know in his life, he now chooses not to be engaged with it anymore. And although the absence of it within his relationship does occupy his mind at some times, it doesn't worry him. It works for them within the relationship, and so it does for him. I wrote an article before on making your own sexual choices, in which I described a couple of elements that are necessary in order to be able to make your own decisions. And exactly those elements were present in that conversation I had with this man. He engaged in several sexual experiences, of which he liked a lot of them, but a couple of them were less pleasant. He had numerous sexual partners and he learned from them. One of his bed partners got pregnant by accident and thus he became more aware of possible consequences of casual sex. He talks about it, and for the last 10 years he immersed himself in spirituality, and thus engaging in a lot of conversations on sexuality. He was open-minded and learned about it, about what fitted his sexuality and what sexuality meant to him. But then he also made a bold decision, as one might say. He decided that the sexuality he had known for such a long time had only a little to do with his own sexuality. It was just there, it was convenient, and he had a lot of attention. But within that attention, they also used him for sex. And now that he looked at his own sexuality for a couple of years and challenged himself to ask critical question. He discovered that his current status quo tells him much more on his sexuality. Which is a form of sexuality that isn't necessary for his ego. A form of sexuality that he didn't need anymore to be someone. 